Oh boy. Montage Dragon. Let's go again. Flawless victory. Yeah, I'm just like too good at this game. I don't think he knows I was playing Montage Dragon. That's 2-1. I could have won the last game too if my opponent hadn't had access code talker. Okay, slow life first. Nice floodgate. I know, I know. Then add Ahara. That way I can get a non-effect monster on the field so I can have Fist of the Unrival Tenyi live. What do you think you can do by drawing two cards? Nothing. For those who don't know how this floodgate works, basically, if you normal summon, then you can't special summon. If you special summon, then you can't normal summon. So what you want to do is just avoid normal summoning so you can do your special summons uninterrupted. However, a lot of decks are balanced around at least one normal summon. So it does a lot to stop things down. Yes, however, banishment of the Dark Lords? Dark Lords, I think, would fall into the category of not really needing their normal summon. So they're probably going to be fine. Yeah, Alistair's in shambles. A lot of decks do need at least one of their normal summons. Harpy's Feather Duster? Well, this is what Fist is for. Despia Dark Lord. At the very least, they won't have a, uh, a normal summon. Maybe. <gasps> the Despia Field Spell card. The Allure of Darkness. They draw two, they banish. What did they banish? Despian Tragedy. If this card sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect, you can add a Despia monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's busted. What the hell, man? That interaction is redunculous. <gasps> During your main phase, you can fusion summon a level 8 or higher fusion monster from your ex Did he just normal summon? He just normal summoned. <laughs> there goes your turn. Everybody's wondering, like, how come I can't use any of my card effects? WTTF just, just, just happened. My card effects are turned off. Fusion summon a level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. The face up non fusion fairy monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect or is disturbed by battle. You can target a level 8 or higher fusion monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Ooh, that's pretty good. Dark Lord Ishia is gonna activate its effect to discard to draw two. He can't read, can't beat. He is stronger than my monk at the very least. Despia Albaz lose to Mystic Mine in lore. I believe it. Okay, my turn. Ooh, Nibiru, that will help. I'm gonna use Monster Reborn. He has some really nice um, high attack monsters in his grave. I'll be taking one of those, thank you. The weakness of Yu-Gi-Oh players reading. As long as he just doesn't normal summon a card, he's fine. It's not a full lockdown on specials. It's like a half lockdown on specials. My deck doesn't really use its normal summon though, so the floodgate doesn't do anything to me. Oh, Super Poly? Well, that's annoying. Yep, well. Uh-oh. I might be ham-boned. Trabrigate Infernoids. I don't think that works, does it? Oh, he's gonna go for a special summon. You think he can special summon more than five times in one turn? I don't think so. Fusion decks don't really special summon that much. The first Dark Lord. I have no idea what this card does. It's cool though. Your opponent cannot target fairy monsters you control with card effects. You can only use one of these effects per turn. If this card is fusion summoned using Dark Lord Morningstar as a material, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. I guess they didn't do that. During the main phase, quick effect, pay a thousand life points, special summon a fairy monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Oh, that's pretty good. They can special summon five plus times if it takes the right setup. Well, they have two special summons so far. They're about to go into a third one. I doubt they're gonna go into any more than that. You take two Dark Lord monsters from your hand or deck with different levels. Special summon one of them to your field and one to your opponents. Oh, this is five, isn't it? No, he added it to his hand. Nope. Remember how you weren't supposed to have hand traps? I know if I, this was a... Uh, if this was a uh, a book, it would have saved me. Come on, just one more summon. You can't normal summon, so you can only special summon because of quiet life. Oh, <gasps> condemn. That's five. Homu. Call you guys. Homu. You all. I hope I can go to hell. Yeah, you tell him, Homu. 
<laughs> it's Nibiru! He does get to bring it back because the uh, this thing is very generous with its activation requirement. That is so mean, I love it. Theater of the Branded. The first Dark Lord comes back. Oh no, Nibiru's effect is negated. What am I going to do? Dark Lord has no problem playing against Nibiru though. Despia, you mean? I'm sure Nibiru affects Dark Lord no problem. Maybe. Actually, they have a trap card that stops it. Uh-oh. I'm hand-boned. Pay a thousand life points. Special summon a fairy monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Dark Lord Super Bia, special summon another fairy monster from your graveyard. A second punishment incoming. I mean, all I have in my hand is Montage Dragon. Continue your main phase? No! I'm just trying to lose real quick. <sighs> One last search. How the duel's going today? I'm winning every single duel. Except for this one, which I just lost. One loss. Time to bring out the wheel of punishment. Well, it's time to spin from the bot wheel. <coughs> round and round it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. What the hell is that? Oh, tell an unfunny joke? Okay, so. I have a new one for you. You guys will love this. Ah, I'm standing in the air. There we go. This is better. So, this is this is a funny joke. Once there was a young guy who was really excited to go to his first ever high school dance. He was worried about everything going perfectly. So he spent the entire day of getting ready for his big night. The first thing he did was go pick up a suit he rented for the occasion. When he got to the rental, there was a long line of kids from his school ahead of him to pick up their suits. So he waited, staring at the time on his phone until it finally came time to pick up his suit and pay. Next, he had to pick up a corsage for his date. He went to the florist, but there were several wedding orders being placed. So again, he had to wait, nervously in line. Finally, he got to the end and picked up a corsage. By this time, it was getting really close to the time he had to pick up his date. He was near her house when he got held up by construction and had to wait in a line of cars to pass through. But just in the nick of time, he picked up his date and they headed off to the dance. In between dancing, he asked his date if she would like anything to drink. She says yes. So he goes to get a beverage from the beverage table and there is no punchline. 